Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're not going off to Gillingham. Um, for understandable reasons, to be fair, we're playing away in Barrow. Yep, pretty much on the Scottish border on a Tuesday night. So I'm thinking, right, I want to watch some football tonight. Jill's are playing away. Where can I go? And I saw this on Instagram. Sheppey United are playing tonight. I can't remember who they're playing. That's, that's my fault, I'm sorry. But it's free to get in. And I'm thinking, wow, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to pay for a train ticket to get there. But it's free to get in. That's a no-brainer. So that's where we're going tonight. That's where our footballing journey will take us. And I've kind of had a bit of an idea as well. So next season, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be playing. Well, no, I can't speak. I'm not gonna be renewing my season ticket next season because I'm, I play for a football team now, and we're gonna be playing on Saturday at three o'clock. So I'm thinking, the weeks we're not playing, I go on like a bit of a, a non-league tour around Kent, sort of thing. So I go to a bunch of like football games in Kent like any level essentially like if you think i should do that just go to random teams in kent please let me know because that is something i will do but yeah anyway enough rambling by me let's just get to i believe it's uh queenborough train station not exactly where i thought we would be but we're not at queenborough station we are going to queenborough but we're not there right now we're in sittingborough station the train's in 20 minutes and it's raining a lot so we're just going to take, take some cover for a minute get on the train make our way to Queenborough. So I've just gotten off the train uh, 20 minutes until kickoff and I've just looked um it's a 20 minute walk to the stadium so you know I kind of got to get my uh my ass in gear and hurry up but you know it's kind of dark here and I don't really want to be recording in the dark so I'll just see you when we get to the stadium. Actually, before we get to the ground, I have researched into the fixture. So I thought it was a league game, but it's not. It's a friendly game. And the team they're playing against, or Sheppey are playing against, is in the league above them. So I'm, I'm a huge fan of non-league. But it, it can get confusing the further down the pyramid you get. So I'm, I'm an ESL fan. So you can't really blame me for getting like these little silly things wrong and if i've offended anyone i'm sorry but um essentially folkestone play in the isthmian uh, premier division i believe or the or step three of non-league which i believe is tier seven of the english football league so the seventh tier uh, which is one away from national league south so if they get promotion They'll be in football manager next year. That's kind of what I'm going off of here. Sheppey United are the league below in the. I don't. Even, I don't even know if I'm saying this right. The uh, the Ishmian Southeast Division, I believe that's how you say it. And again, don't be offended if I've got it wrong. I love non-league. I'm not like disrespecting it or anything. Um, but yeah, so the team Sheppey are playing against today is Folkestone in Victor. I haven't looked into where they are in the league table, but I'm hoping for a relatively decent game with some goals, hopefully, because knowing me, it's either going to be a boring 0-0 draw or it's going to be like a 3-4-0 win for either team. There's no in-between. So, yeah, let's just get to the stadium. I think it's 15 minutes until kickoff, something like that. And I'm about 15 minutes walk away, so I need to get my ass out, like hurry up. Keep on interrupting, get into the stadium. But I just want to mention something. So Sheppey United have had a relatively decent FA Cup run this season, making it to the first round. Now, if you don't know how the FA Cup works, basically teams have to go through a, quali like a lot of qualifying rounds if they're in the non-league system. So... Anything below League Two, which is the bottom tier of professional English football, um, anything below them, which is where Gillingham is, um, is non-league. And essentially, um, well, they have to play. I think it starts from the, the extra preliminary round, where all of like the well, not Sunday League teams, 
but like not very established teams are if that like, in the nicest way possible if you get what i mean but um and then it goes to the preliminary round then it goes to first round qualifying second round third round fourth round qualifying etc etc um basically um after fourth round qualifying it goes to first round proper so Sheffield united have gone through all of these qualifying rounds to make it to round one and they got at home league two Walsall where they did score the first goal against which was a very good goal in my opinion but um yeah they did go on to lose I believe it was either three or four one to Walsall which honestly I mean scoring the first goal against the professional team is all right you probably see the floodlights over there the four really bright lights let me try and zoom in there but um yeah I, i'm looking forward to this game i don't know what time what's there i don't know what the time is now i know kickoffs at half seven and i kind of got to hurry up but i don't know if you can see that there but they're advertising their next fixture a little billboard thing but um yeah let's just quickly hurry up and get to the stadium we've just got it just in time i think having to walk down past some houses um it was a bit weird i've been here before actually to watch jills in pre-season but i didn't record it because i was with my mates so you know i kind of got to enjoy some games now and again um yeah i think it'll be a decent match there's quite a few people here quite a few cars you can see the tv cameras over there i think they might be recording tonight i'm not too sure but yeah tidy little ground this decent stadium to be fair like i can't fault it really at all for the level it's at it is very good We've done double well a lot though. I always, but you is not too bad. He's fucking action. It's just like it's smooth. You get it. He's only like he's twelve. You get it. You throw it. You loop it. Fly it. Spin it. Everything. And it's, it's all, all about the wrist. Yeah. When well, you're after yeah. that five points, I would have. He's sick that man. Do you think it's better than fucking drinks? I'm not too bad at getting a score, but then it comes to finishing. Like, what, 20 good? Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Number 10, uh, dribble around the goalkeeper and put it away. 1 0 Sheffield. Sheffield. Good goal to be fair. Keeper couldn't really do much about it. Score Sheffield 2, focused and nil. <laughs> and then he got a races, we didn't even put a races. <clears throat> but we, we knew that was when they said you get a choice. I stole the machine X. Yeah. 
I mean, the Sheffield game has been all right. I've been watching it, but uh, Jills are currently 2 0 down to Barrow in what the 55th minute, something like that. Um, not good enough, to be honest, but you know, oh well. We move. We're comeback FC at the moment, though, so hopefully we'll get some sort of result out of it. Uh, folks in a go corner. Play. Number 19 scores for Folkestone. Fair play. Privileged, I threw the ball back onto the pitch for the goalie. <laughs> That's got to be nearly full time, surely. Oh! <gasps> 
And that is full time, Sheppy 2, Folkestone 1. Uh, it was an okay game. Obviously, could have been a little bit better. Well done, Lino. Yeah, good game. Sheppy 2, Folkestone 1.